Um, so I'm gonna do the startup on this one. Operator was leaking. I finally figured out the issue was the float, um, the float bowl, and then uh, the little plunger on the float bowl. So we took care of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't leak again, though. Alright. Seems like it idles too low. All right, you guys. So I didn't figure out the issue, but I'm thinking maybe I need to jump this for the tours. Not sure. Um, but we will find out very soon enough. Um, and then maybe that'll fix the issue. Alright you guys, I figured it out, um, right here on the throttle, where it goes to here, uh, that's where I screwed it up, and pretty much I forgot to jump these, or maybe it fell off, I'm not sure, I don't even remember, but... She's idling. She was idling, trying to get it to idle though. I messed with a bunch of stuff, so no, it's all out of it again. Let's try and kick it over again though. guys um so we did a heat cycle on the blaster I'm um, not really proud of it but um, it was idling kind of rough and I noticed that I didn't put the idle mixture screw now um, where it was supposed to be at it was like really high up um, so it wasn't sounding good it's not really good for a fresh rebuild um, I've only turned it on uh, two times prior to this but the first time it was only on for like maybe a minute the second time it was only on for like five, ten, maybe like ten minutes, but it was leaking gas, so I had to turn it off. Um, and right now I about had it on for maybe a good like ten, fifteen minutes. Uh, it did reach up to temperatures of uh, 135, so I mean it was getting up there, uh, so it's not too bad. But um, I would have liked it to get like maybe 190 or something like that, but I turned it off because it was running really rough and I didn't want to cause any damage. Um, so yeah, I've pretty much figured out that it was uh, the idle um, the idle air screw. Uh, I didn't have it on the right way. I pretty much it had way more turns than it was supposed to be. I think stock specs are supposed to be like 
one and a half turns out after you go in I think it was like a good like five so not good at all but I was messing with the carb and I was cleaning it and then I fixed the float bowl so pretty much that's probably my mistake <laughs> so um, uh, that's what pretty much happened so I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and then we'll probably start it up again um, if not at least you guys heard it I mean it, it sounds rough but the the one behind me started and this one I took for a test drive ran great uh, well not great but 10 times better than that one it is a little boggy I still have to adjust all that stuff honestly you guys I'm not really good at like the the gas um, carburetor adjustment the jetting and all that yet so I'm still learning we'll figure it out though um, slowly but surely I'll you know figure out the whole carb tuning jetting and all that that's probably the next big thing that I really need to figure out though so I can get these quads running tip top as in this one like it has the the V force reads the you know the full FMF gold series pipe so I definitely want that one like running you know top notch and if I can get a couple more upgrades for it I will maybe like a Canon air filter or something I don't know maybe I'll do a big bore kit in it later on so we'll see but um I'll see if I attach another clip of the vi of the quad running um, I'm gonna let it sit for a good like hour though so let it cool down for that rough start but I mean it runs you guys so it's not a good uh, way to show you guys I guess uh, the way I um, do my heat cycles or my first starts but it's something I mean it runs uh, it didn't run horrible but it ran pretty rough so I'm not proud of it but anyways that's the heat cycle on um, the cheap blaster that I purchased as you guys can see it is running everything is pretty decent on it so I'm not 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 doing too bad you guys but if you guys like the video don't forget to share and subscribe and give me that thumbs up peace